When you're ready to run the gel, you first need to add loading dye to your DNA sample. This will increase the density of the sample so that it stays in its designated well and will also help you track the sample's migration through the gel. To load the gel, use good pipetting technique to draw your sample into the pipette tip. Wipe off excess liquid found on the outside of the tip by dragging it across the top of the tube. Carefully insert your pipette tip into the well that corresponds to your sample. Make sure you don't poke into the bottom of the gel or leave the tip floating above the well. Slowly push the plunger to the first stop to fully dispense the sample into the well. Going to the second stop can introduce bubbles, which can push your sample out of the well. With the plunger still depressed, remove the pipette tip from the well. Discard the tip and continue loading the rest of your samples. After you've run the gel, you may want to cut out a band for DNA purification. If this is your goal, be sure to use a lower percent agarose gel, like 0.7%. You'll also want to use a wider gel comb, skip lanes between samples, and run the gel at a lower voltage. This will make it easier to extract a clean band. To do this, you will need a UV box and a fresh sterilized blade, such as a scalpel or razor blade. You should also work on a clean, flat glass plate so that you don't damage the UV box. Be sure to work quickly to minimize UV exposure, which can harm you and your DNA sample. Quickly and precisely insert your blade into the gel and cut around the band of interest. Try to include as little of the surrounding agarose as possible. Transfer the gel and band to a fresh tube. You can also use a device such as the Extract Gel Extractor. To use this, carefully insert the device into the gel, rock slightly to make sure you've cut all the way through, and then pull it out of the gel. You can then squeeze the piece into a fresh tube.